Hi everyone, how are you? How are you guys doing? Good. Welcome to this our uh, webinar, uh, Yijing webinar for beginners today. So, okay, thanks you guys for tuning in. Okay, all right. Hi, Lisha. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Amy. Okay, thanks for tuning in. So, are you guys ready to learn Yijing? Okay, for some of you are uh, very new here and you maybe you don't know why you're here today. Yeah, let me just guide you a little bit here. My name is Iverson. I am a consultant, uh, instructor and speaker from Joya Consulting Group. And today I'm very happy to share with you one of the, uh, I would say, the most, one of the most powerful system in Chinese metaphysics, well, what we regard as Yijing. Yeah, some of you might actually heard about this word before. Uh, some people uh, regard this as I Ching. Uh, so we, the proper pronunciation here is the, uh, is we pro pronounce it as Yijing, right? Yijing, yeah. And uh, in continuous, in Cantonese, we, we actually uh, spell it as, pronounce it as Yijing, Yijing. Okay. So, and, uh, Okay, all right. So someone asked why suddenly all put green background. Yeah, I don't know. This is director instructions. Okay, so you need to be ask my director sitting over there. Okay, <laughs> maybe they got to do something with the video later on. They want to put something yeah, interesting behind. Yeah, that one is still a mystery, right? Today, let's not focus on the background. Yeah, let's focus on the topic today. Okay, hi, Douglas. And uh, you mentioned that you bought a Yijing card from Joe Yap store and hope uh, you can know how to use the card. It's actually very easy to use the card, right? It's very easy. Yeah. Okay. Since you asked, I actually prepared the cards, the cards here. Yeah, I need 64 cards. So later on, Douglas, you might need to pay some attention to this. Okay. Can we say that money equal to green color? I hope so. Yeah. So it's good, right? <laughs> Lily asked, can you put a superhero setting? Yeah, I would love to do so. So who is a superhero? Who is your favorite superhero? Spider-Man? Flash? Yeah, if you ask me, my superhero is Flash. <laughs> okay, <laughs> have you watched Flash series before? Uh, it's a quite a good series, right? So because it's talking about speed. <laughs> okay, all right. Hi, Chi Bang. Uh, you also bought the cards? Okay, nice. Okay, so today, uh, uh, right before we start here, okay, Lily mentioned her favorite superhero is Loki. Okay, all right. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. So now I think all of you here, uh, are, okay, Cecilia say miss the little yellow duck. Yeah, I also don't know where the yellow, the yet the yellow duck. Oh yeah, I found it. Hold on, hold on, uh, Cecilia, Cecilia. Yeah, and that's the one, right? Are you missing this one? This duck here. Yeah, but due to the director instructions today, there are no duck. Okay, all right. So I need to put it back. Uh, probably next time I want I can do a lucky draw. You know, if you answer uh, the the question correctly, you can get a duck. Yeah, this duck is limited edition. You know, okay. Alicia say no stock. Okay, need to wait yeah for the cards because some of the uh the card is in great demand as uh, uh I mean recently because we just did a Yijing class, so I think a lot of people bought the card uh, uh from us. So uh I mean uh be patient a little bit. I think they are reloading the stock replenish uh, very soon so you'll get the uh, cards again okay elaine say where's the cactus i cannot re i cannot recall i had the cactus before i think you're referring to grass is it yeah <laughs> yeah i don't it's a wheat grass okay sometimes i need some healthy boost i might take some of it i think I'm, i don't know that one the only survivor right now is the duck only okay i don't know where the grass is uh, going already okay so uh I, a lot of question here, right? Some of you ask about Yijing is a tarot. No, it's not tarot, huh? Yeah, because it's Yijing. Right? If it's tarot, then um, it's, it's tarot, right? So this is different. That's why we call Yijing. So later on, you will discover uh, what is the power of Yijing. Okay, so right before we start just now, um, uh, I actually, uh, the team actually did a poll and asking what is your, actually your level of Yijing, right? I think a lot of you here participate on the poll. So just before we start here, let me review the uh, the poll answer to all of you here, the results. So there you go. Okay, what is the knowledge uh, level in Yijing? Yeah, this is the result I got. <laughs> so the first one, I'm expert, no doubt about it, is 0%. Okay, so it seems like no one dared to claim uh, the title, this heavy, heavyweight title of Yijing. And if you discovered on the poll here, I think a lot of you is actually very new, zero, but I'm willing to learn. Okay, I like that spirit. 
Yeah, but actually you don't have a choice, right? I already put the word there, you're waiting to learn. Yeah, if it's zero means you're waiting to learn. Okay. So this is the uh, I would say that 57% of you are very, very new here. Okay, so I understand that. Um, don't worry uh, because you might think, right, I'm a beginner here. We are able to benefit from this session here. Definitely, right? That's why we call this our session here is Yijing for beginners, right? So if you're not beginner and if you're expert, then you can leave this webinar. Luckily, no one claimed they're expert. It's 0%. So no one get to leave. Yeah, you need to stay here. Yeah, you're stuck with me for at least one hour today. Are you okay with this? Okay, so today uh, we're going to talk about, let me just give you some a um, uh, a basic introduction about Yijing. Yeah, let me show you the word first. Yeah, some of you, I don't know uh, what you're going to do with this. So when you learn Yijing, this is the word here. Yeah, in, in Cantonese, we pronounce this as Yeking, right? It's the classic of the Yi, right? So I think you heard about this before, some of you. And then you, if you uh, go to bookstore, there are books that are actually talking about uh, Yi Jing, right? So or they call this I Ching or Book of Change. So what does it mean here is this Yi Jing is teaching about the, I would say, about life, yeah, about the universe. Yeah, They're talking about on the philosophical side of life, you know, so it, a lot, the reason people studied uh, the Yi, there are two reasons. Yeah, people studying this. One of the uh, one of the group here, group A. the reason they study this is they want to actually increase their wisdom, right? How do you know you have a lot of wisdom? Very easy one, you know. You ask yourself, yeah, are you a happy person, right? If you're a happy person, most of the time, I'll say that your wisdom level is quite high, right? If someone that constantly frustrated, annoyed, you know, uh, maybe they have a sorrow, grief. That one, they need to work on wisdom, right? Because if you have a lot of wisdom, you can see through a lot of things. You understand, you know, how life works, right? You have more acceptance. Your acceptance level is higher. Don't you think so? So how many of you here interested to increase your wisdom level? Yeah, I'm not talking about intelligence, okay? Intelligence make you depressed, okay? Wisdom make you happy. Okay, <laughs> I'm talking about uh, wisdom. How many of you here, uh, maybe uh, you want to increase your uh, your wisdom level. Yeah, type the word me right now on the chat box. Let me see who you are. Okay, so many of you. Okay, nice. Okay, so I think it's good, right? If you cannot uh, master anything, yeah, as uh, at least this year your your wisdom level increase. I think you have a great life, right? Wisdom is the ability to see through what is important, what is not important, you know. And uh, I would say you have you you find your inner peace, right? So the reason people uh, seek for enlightenment. Yeah, in order to do that, you need to have that kind of wisdom. You have wisdom. The moment you have wisdom, you have inner peace. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, that's that's the one one the first group of the people why they learn Yijing. The other group of people, uh, the second group of the people that learn Yijing because Yijing also known as one of the uh, very very powerful divination method, right? Divination method means that it able to give uh, give you an insights on the situation you're in. So you know, you know why yeah, this thing uh, happened to you. Like uh, recently, I heard a lot of people got retrenched. Yeah, so do some of my friends as well. They come to tell me I wasn't. I got retrenched. Okay, so you say that you know uh, how what, what to do, right? So if they if you want to know the why, you know why why is this happening to them? Uh, what is the lesson they need to learn to move forward? All these things are contains on the Yijing card, right? The Yijing uh, hexagram will tell you how to think, the right perception. And more importantly, how you uh, what you can do in order not to repeat yeah, the same in the incident again in the future. Don't you think this is important? So it's a lot got to do with self-reflection. So that is a divination can do it. And also division can tell you something, right? Maybe your right now your skill is not good enough. Or maybe it tell you that don't worry, you know, yeah, you're in good luck right now. The reason you you actually got retrenched because that you your you already outlive. Yeah. Mm, that the company actually out, uh, not no longer able to serve your greatness anymore, right? You're so great right now. Therefore, you know you deserve a great destiny, and the current company could not, could not could not contain the greatness in you. So therefore, it brings you to the next level. So you're able to find a job. Don't you think it's cool, All right? So I would say uh, sometimes it tells you something. So everyone will be different, right? So sometimes teaching can be very. Uh, can be very soothing it tell you okay it's not your fault you know you're destined for something great but sometimes the answer you get maybe yeah, is because you are stupid 
Okay, you need to work on your intelligence level because your skill is no longer uh, relevant to the current economy. Sometimes can be brutal as, as well. So are you guys able to take the brutal truth or not? Sometimes are you okay? Can you able to sum up something uh, that you hear that is not so favorable or maybe sometimes they also critique you in, I mean, constructive criticism. Are you able to take that or not? Are you that fragile? You cannot take all this criticism. If you cannot take criticism, Yijing might not be the right thing for you because sometimes they'll be very honest one, right? If you ask Yijing, am I fat? Sometimes you say, yeah, your butt are fatter than Chicago. <laughs> you could be like that. Yeah, so sometimes, right? Depends. Yeah, sometimes Yijing also got mood one, you know, right? Sometimes the mood is happy can give you a happy answer. Sometimes just tell it directly on the face, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, first thing you need to check yourself, are you okay to, because Yijing teach about the uh, uh, the skill of acceptance, you know, yeah, don't worry. Eh? So after you few times, you, got crit you get criticism, you get used to it. Yeah, so you need to face the fact, right? If you cannot, if you don't know what is the problem in the first place, right? You don't know, you cannot solve the problem. Don't you think so? So sometimes it'll be like that. I think it's better that Yijing tell you rather than your friend tell you straight to the face, right? Because Yijing, one part, you cannot argue with it. Right, because even when you argue, there are no response. You just accept it because it's a divination, means it's the word from the divine. Yeah, there are no, you cannot appeal. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this is uh, the thing here. So, uh, Lim Lim say, is it the uh, Yi Jing similar with Chi forecasting? Yeah, no. Yeah, Yi Jing is divination, Chi is forecasting. So, Yi Jing talking about what you need and Chi talk about what you want. Yeah, it's two different things. So therefore, sometimes Yijing might actually didn't answer your question directly. It will tell you something that you did not able to see at that point of time. Right. So uh, this is uh, this is the power of the Yi. Right. So they they tell you something is truly important to you in long run. For example, if you, if you ask a uh, uh, Yi uh, you uh, you they have three company to work for. You don't know which one. You ask Yi uh, Chiman, Chi, uh, Chiman, we're going to tell you one of this. Right, which one is the best one? But you ask the same question to the Yi, right? Sometimes the Yi will tell you something different, right? Like in Yi Jing, there are one hexagram called family. So sometimes you might say that, you know, yeah, now don't look for a job first. Take care of your family first. Yeah, your family uh, needs you right now at home. Or maybe the elderly needs you. Yeah, stop asking for work first. That's not important. Sometimes, you know, uh, Yi Jing might tell you something that not related to your question what you want, but it tells you what you truly need inside because it's from the divine. You guys uh, get it here? All right, so this is a simple explanation I can come up with, you know, to telling you the difference between uh, the achievement and the uh, uh, the Yi Jing. Yeah, but even you don't know the difference, it's, it's okay, right? Don't stress yourself about it. Yeah, so if you want to, uh, the, the easiest way is the spelling is different. Yeah, so, okay. So, but don't worry, right? As long as it can help you, why bother or not? Don't you think the reason you learn Chinese metaphysics is to is to do what? Is to help to improve life, right? So, don't you think so? So, no matter what the tools, even if you don't know the difference between Pazza, Feng Shui, and Shiman, who cares, right? As long as your life become better, right? You're, you're all right. Think about this, right? If your life right now, everything is perfect according to what you want. You have great wealth, you have great health, you've got great family, you have uh, uh, whatever uh, whatever you want already with you right now. Do you really bother to look at your butter chart, honestly? You don't care, right? Because <laughs> right, you already have everything you want. Yeah. So the reason yeah, you learn any form of Chinese metaphysics is because there's still a gap between where you are and where you want to be. Don't you think so? So if, you, if that is your goal here, I believe all of you, uh, have something you want right now, not maybe not this year, maybe for 2021. So therefore, Yi Jing is one of the two to get that. And the way Yi Jing actually help you, not necessarily it give you something. Yeah, sometimes it train you to be a better person. So because you become a better person, you are able to create better results in your life. Right. So uh, you can say that Yi Jing also one form of self cultivation. So which means that the more you use the Yi, the more uh, wisdom you have and then you have not only you're happier you can attract a uh, great energy in your life yeah that's what it is so how after listening to this how many of you are interested to learn yijing type the word me yeah i want to see all this uh all of you here who are interested to learn yijing right now okay nice yeah type the word me in the chat box okay cool so if you are uh, 
if you're interested on do this let me uh, today today would be a uh, first step for you a first journey or uh, to actually enter yeah, the realm of Yijin. yeah it's a realm right if you watch the avenger that's a realm of what uh the marvel universe right you got dc that would be a dc universe right so Yijing also is the own realm here so why Yijing is so powerful because Yijing talking about the origin of everything right so as you can see on the screen right now this is yin and yang right so it is talking about the origin of the universe and where where everything is started right so therefore Yijing a lot of time the way they solve the problems yeah is not solving the effect yeah, most of the time the answer you get from the yi is about solving the cost so the yi always points you to the cost of everything i yeah, think about the creation or right? everything we see right now there's something we did before think about this yeah why we exist today yeah because someone did something before right so therefore you exist basically it's your parents are right they do something exercise together yeah before one point yeah, probably in the in the in the heavy rain most of the time the movie portrayed that way right so they did some exercise therefore you exist today or not you are the effect of a cause of an exercise yeah that did by your parents maybe 20 years 30 years ago okay so if so therefore Yi Jing talking about since they're talking about the origin of it so sometimes the answer they give you is not a i would say a quick fix answer yeah, let's say you you discover that you know let's say you, you are not happy with your boss right now if you ask another system they'll say you look for a job yeah give you a right date you you secure another interview but Yi Jing might say that the reason don't don't keep changing job you know you say how many job you change before yeah, you change job every three months obviously the problem is not with the job is you you're freaking lazy yeah Yi Jing will say something like that you see a difference here another system will say don't worry yeah i have i only help you to find the good dates how to go for interview then you go to secure it your a new job yes maybe you can get it but only for how long three months again you're going to apply for another job come on right doesn't look good at your cv or not and you're also getting old so therefore using uh focus more on internal so therefore i like to use this because the solution if you're able to address it you'll be something uh i would say permanent for you yeah it's long term so and the more you use it that's why i say you are more uh you're more wise yeah, in the process so now in yijing is a is a universe right it's a new realm if you if you understand you want to understand it the first thing is not to look at hexagram first yeah that's the most uh this is the beginning mistake a lot of time people are when they think about yijing the first thing they look at the six line uh, if you go to bookstore right you like the six line the 64. after you you glance through uh maybe 10 seconds you're already seeing stars already so many stars yeah? you know what you don't know what happening right you confuse so therefore because uh the first step of learning yijing is to understand the essence of yijing yeah so let me show you on the next slide here what is the essence of uh yijing so yijing talk about these three things yeah so uh i was this is how i see the yi so it talking about uh, the first thing here is talking about the impermanence of things yeah yijing say that no matter what problem you're having right now it will go away someday do you agree so do good things as well right so i don't care how handsome you are right now or how beautiful you are right now so it will go away someday don't you think so everything yeah we cannot actually uh, uh so-called uh control the time right we, all of us here are uh, getting older every single second goes by yeah, this is very evident when you go for a school re reunion after 20 years yeah do you see that the time uh effect on people right some of them you don't even reckon able to recognize anymore yeah? that used to be your good friend or someone well, how come you become like that already right some of them they, they grow horizontal uh horizontally right now you also cannot uh recognize them already right so time does actually uh does effect on people so and uh like if if you ask all those married couple for 20 to 30 years right uh, then sometimes when i interview them they say how come my wife now is totally different already uh, last time very slim right now the body size look like a t-rex already you know what is t-rex if you don't know you watch jurassic park okay so there's yeah, some people like that you know yeah they don't understand that people do change you know so i always tell them right it's reflect your judgment right you are the one selecting this woman right so you better treat her right yeah whether she's slim or like t-rex is still your uh wife why not 
<laughs> so don't don't judge, right? Don't I would say, um, yeah, some people really that bad. Yeah? So sometimes I did, uh, I always last, like to actually interview people. We yeah, ask about what they think. Yeah? Some of them are really that bad. Okay, T -Rex. Max Tang Tang say is T Rex. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what a guy told me. His wife looked like T Rex. So yeah, this is very mean. Yeah, so. <laughs> So Mia say got a slang called Dino Boo. Okay, <laughs> nice. So now, Celine Choi say that I'm a T-Rex now. Okay, Celine, thanks for being honest. Yeah, but don't worry. Yeah, due to the aging, the concept of impermanence, you will not remain T-Rex forever. Yeah, sometimes you will change again. <laughs> okay, that's why you see Yijing is so cool, right? So you don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> now, and. <I'm laughs> Patty say big teeth, little arms. Okay, I try not to, I know it's very funny, but I try not to deviate from our serious discussion about aging. Yeah, because we must respect aging, okay? All right, so yeah, it's an art that, you know, is a father of Chinese metaphysics. Okay, enough, enough. Yeah, you know, that I know it's very funny. Yeah, a lot of you here have very funny comments. Yeah, I cannot stop from laughing right now. Okay, now, so impermanence is the first thing, right? So the thing is, right, is since we cannot control, we cannot control the aging, we're getting older. But not necessary, not necessarily we will become worse in the process, right? So throughout the change, can we become better or not? Yes, we can. Like you're going through a school reunion, some of the students you think is a loser, right now they own multiple businesses. Have you met someone like that or maybe some of your schoolmates are like that? They used to be regarded as a loser, the rebellious, you know, there's no hope in the future. And then right now, after 20 to 30 years, uh, moving forward, now they are very successful uh, business person. We hit this up, people, right? Yeah. So and then now group people that they are A student, right? They are the the top in the class. But after two twenty to thirty years, these people are working for that the businessman that used to be uh, the loser in the high school, right? So there's a lot. So that is, that's why you see the time process here. You not necessarily become uh, worse than you were before. You know, you can become better. So the Yijing talking about the concept of impermanence here is throughout the whole process. How do you become better? So they're talking about the change management. Therefore, if you read a lot of a book in the Yijing book in, in the bookstore, then they're always talking about the book of change. You guys came across this word here. If you learn about, if you, if you get glance through or you happen to actually uh, bump into some of the Yijing book, they say the, uh, the book of change. So basically, they're talking about throughout the whole process, can you become better? Or not? Yeah, that is something that uh, uh, about this impermanence. So he said, if you're using the gi to guide you, right? So you can manage the, the change elegantly. And also you're able to, in result of that, you can become better in the process. Don't you think we like that? Right? So the second part is talking about the cause and effect, as you can see on the screen right now. So cause and effect basically is for, uh, like I already shared with you just now, right? So usually a lot of time they focus on the cause of the thing that create the issues that you have rather than the effect, right? So for example, like, uh, let me ask you a question here. I asked this before, yeah, but some of you are right new here. Let me ask you again. Um, every day, do you spend most of your time portraying effect or are you busy working at the cost? On daily basis yeah let me uh let me repeat this again on daily basis on your daily routine do you spend most of your time portraying the effect or you are busy working at the cost okay type in the chat box right now okay let me explain a little bit here right so have you seen someone like they um uh, they take a lot of photos in Instagram. They are portraying how great their life is. Actually, behind the behind the scene, actually, it's fake one. You know, they keep telling people, you know, how good they are, and then they they give a lot of motivational quote there. You know, but actually, their whole their their actual life, their reality doesn't work that well. You know, right? Maybe they don't even have a job. So so they are busy to doing what portraying the effect, right? But yet some people, yeah, you know, they they they. In, I'm not saying they didn't use Instagram or Facebook, but they they actually don't show the exaggerated uh, version of them. You know, they actually showing the reality, but at the same time, they're busy working at the cost. They learn new things. You know, they save money. They work behind the scene. So, don't you think by this realization is very important, 
right? Therefore, you need to ask yourself, right? So, and uh, uh, you need to uh, ask yourself is whether, yeah, whether is every day, every activities you do, are you focused on the effect? Effect means that you're showing, you're showing off uh, another impression of you, a better version of you outside, just to impress people that you don't like, or even the people you don't care, right? But some people, they are, they might not seem like going very far ahead in life, but they're working at the cost. There are no one going to tap at the back of their, uh, their shoulder to say, good job. No one recognize they're still working on it, making progress every single day. Yeah, these are the people that will get ahead in life in long run. Don't you think so? So Yijing, a lot of time, they're, they're focusing on the cost of the thing. Okay. All right. So, and the, uh, the third thing here is, uh, this is a, a lot of people actually uh, learning Yijing here, is about this, uh, what we call the divine uh, guidance. So divine guidance in this, uh, in this concept here is about if you have a question you want to ask, right? So if you have, if you, if you have a choice, let's say there are two person in the room, you can ask question. Yeah, one is very wise, one is, is, is not, say, not so wise, okay? So which one will ask? Of course, you ask the, the most uh, wise person in the room, right? So Yi Jing is if you know how to use this divine guidance, is equivalent you having someone, uh, a wiser that's very wise, 24-7 uh, at your disposal. You can actually demand uh, certain insight or certain uh, wisdom from this person. Uh, don't you think it's cool, right? So therefore, this is what the divine uh, guidance is. So how do they complicate the answer to you? So is there are six lines, right? So when you learn Yijing, there are six lines here. So let me show you uh, what is this, uh, how the hexagram being, uh, uh, the hexagram is like this, right? These are the 64 hexagrams. So these 64 hexagram uh, represent a, uh, an image. There are only 64, right? So in the whole universe, Anything you can think of, be it object, uh, be it uh, feeling, uh, problem, situation, strategy, whatever you can think of in the universe can be represented by any of this hexagram. There are only 64. So which means that if you're able to master these 64 hexagrams, you're able to master life or you're able to understand life. That's why you got the wisdom, uh, basically what it means. And these 64, actually we can see it in so many uh permutation in our life right now. For example, like uh, if you buy, how many of you here own a smartphone? Of course, all of you own a smartphone, right? What a dumb question. Sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> so now uh, this, uh, this uh, smartphone here, if you buy, there's a storage for each of the phone, right? So they always say, uh, if you look, you pay attention to the storage, it always come from what? 64. Do you realize that? And then they multiply by 264, the storage become what? 128. Right, one two eight, then it become what? Yeah, two five six, and five one two, and so on. Right, so therefore, all of this here, the whole concept here also come from the concept of binary, one and zero. So whatever computer you're using right now, be it laptop or iPhone or, or iPad, whatever. Okay, I, I'm an Apple fan, right? Okay, so for the Android fans, it's still considered also the same. Don't you think so? Right? It's also one, two, eight, two, five, six, right? So therefore, it's actually come from the same, I would say, fundamental uh, arrangement of the universe. Yeah. So don't you think it's cool? Yeah. So this one already, uh, already explained yeah, on the Yi. And this is how uh, the programmer that the time they discovered that, you know, the Yi is using the binary. Because last time, uh, the most, uh, I would say, the four thought thinker in numbers, they're using decimals, right? Decimals is 10, right? So, and then they, throughout the way, throughout all the research, they discovered the Yi, the Yi Jing only using binary. Yeah, binary is one and zero. Okay, I know this sounds like a math class here. Yeah, so, but yeah, that's normally how it works. Okay, one and zero. And from there, these are building blocks of computer and all the technology we have. So they have 64. Okay, all right. So now, I think the first thing for a beginner, right? Uh, you ask, you you got to ask yourself is, do I need to memorize all the sixty four histogram? Yeah, it looks, uh, it's not so cool, right? Yeah. So and uh, but the thing about this, right? The first thing to to actually master this, you need to memorize all the sixty uh, sixty four, right? All you need to know is how to use it. 
they how to use it and then uh, they'll give you certain advice and then you can improve your life yeah the goal here is not to memorize all these 64 but I, I, I just let you know there are 64 only yeah so whatever later on whatever advice you want to ask it comes from one of these six, 64 hexagrams and if you pay attention to each of these hexagram do, how many lines are there there are six lines right yeah so there are six lines that's why they call hexagram okay and uh, each of this hexagram there's a name right if you if you pay attention uh, on each of this hexagram there's a name right at the bottom so each hexagram you can treat like a people a person then always come with a name okay so let me tell you how this hexagram is formed so in in uh, in the old days you know where the world is less complicated they start with only two lines first okay they are only yang line and then they are also yin line you see it here right this is a yang line and then there's a yin line right because uh, last time when people ask question they only ask yes or no only yeah back then people less complicated right so they'll ask the question does mary love me or not so it's either yes or no but due to the evolution of uh, the man yeah so we discovered that you know people are not just one a yes or no right maybe they expect a question like maybe yeah does mary love me then it could be maybe right yeah sometimes yes sometimes no then how do you address that question because yin and yang cannot yin and yang just yes or no right so therefore slowly and slowly they actually develop they add one more line to it therefore you got four possibility maybe yes maybe no or maybe no maybe yes or maybe now no future yes you know the kind of thing so it's here but it's not enough right so and then maybe mary doesn't love guy she loves girl right so it's not it's not able to cover in four hexes four possible answer right so then they, they actually add another line so this make uh it possible answer this is what we call trigrams because there are three lines right so therefore this also talking about if you learn human the eight trigrams represent different direction right eight directions and uh, uh you're also talking about uh the people in in the, in the world what of uh, like father mother the kind of uh attributes okay so think about this right in order don't you think so in order to form a hexagram because three lines for them is no longer enough yeah they want if you talk if you ask a uh, yijing for a strategy to win a project right therefore this three line here uh uh is might not enough so they add another three lines so they duplicate the trigram so instead of using one trigram they use two trigrams therefore it form how many six lines so from two trigrams is equal to what a hexagram yeah that's how they actually form uh the origin of it so from start is a taiji right so and then they actually uh evolve until here and finally what we are learning in this part so do you actually uh realize that each of the tri uh hexagram actually contain or make up of two trigrams two trigrams right top and bottom you see it okay all right cool so this is how um the trigrams is uh how we actually uh do this the yeah, six line right so if you want to learn uh yijing uh further uh i will tell you uh these are the line right introduction of yijing yeah this beginner you you don't no need to worry about the yin and yang first they are the, the, all i want you to know there are six lines all right so there are six lines and then the first line will be the most bottom and then it will actually slowly slowly move to the top yeah so in some time in in the advanced learning uh then you realize that the bottom line is the if you're talking about organization the lowest line is the i would say the the normal or i would say the the clerk or the admin the lowest ranking will be at the bottom and then we we'll move on to the fifth line with the co yeah that one we can uh, once you learn later on you know this also determine ranking yeah sometimes you also want to know right uh from my spouse pers perspective what is my ranking in her heart do you dare to ask this question yeah do you do you want to know how your spouse see you or not <laughs> from their perspective right if later on you discover that let's say the 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 you got the yijing the focus line is at the bottom yeah so which means that your <laughs> your spouse think that you are not that capable yeah you're a loser 
Yeah, if the focus line later on you discover is here, number five, wow. Yeah, your spouse think you are a highly capable person. Okay, uh, so Shirley Chong asked how. Yeah, this one later on. Yeah, later on, we learn you more. This one is got to do with the focus line. Because later on, when you plot a, 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 uh, I would say, a card, the other thing you need to plot also the, um, the focus line. So which means that one of the line will become a focus line. Let's say you ask the question, you know, how does my spouse see me or how does my boss see me? And then you discover the focus line is at number five. Good or not? Very good. Yeah, your boss uh, acknowledge your competence. Yeah, you, you, you hold a very high, uh, I would say, high place in his heart. Nice. What if later on your focus line is not in number five, is at number one? What you should do? Let's you ask, how does my boss see me? Or how does my superior see me? And they'll get line number one. Let's say, what you should do, tell me. Come on, I want you to practice here. Yeah, if you already work there already 10 years and you ask this question and they'll get line number one, you better resign, all right? So <laughs> no use already, right? 10 years, you also like that, right? So, okay, Marcus Hall say cry. Yes, yeah, you should cry, right? Cry, then resign and cry again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, better, la. 10 years already, you must still got this. Uh, don't, need to, don't need to change anything, la, right? The perception already fixed on you already, right? Uh, okay nice okay leave ready then you you go home and then they say what yeah uh in Cantonese they say yeah so it means that you you sleep on it yeah basically and then you think about you know what is the thing you you done wrong and then you plot a yijing card remember yijing card tell you about the cause right then you see what is the thing you need to work for yeah so then then from there you become better and better that's one way to do it Okay, so of course, uh, let me show you, uh, because now some of you ask, right, how do we actually uh, cast a, a Yijing? In in the old days, you know, they actually uh, use a turtle shell. Yeah, they use a turtle shell. So I actually got it with me right now, but this is not the real turtle shell. This is a fake one. Yeah, this is a, a metal, yeah, made from metal. You see here? Yeah, because we want to protect the animals so we don't kill. Yeah, so we are environment friendly organization. So we endorse using a fit turtle shell. Yeah, so this is the one here. So what is the old days? What they do is they actually put their three coins, you know, three coins, you know, and then they put inside the turtle shell and then they shake and then they throw out the coin. You will form the first line. Remember hexagram, there are six lines, right? So they do it six times repeatedly and then they get the, uh, not throw the turtle, okay? Yeah, the the turtle did nothing wrong, okay? I'm I'm talking about throwing the coins out. I know some of you ask me throwing the turtle. No, yeah, you shouldn't do that, okay? So got karma, you know? Don't throw the turtle, okay? So you just throw out the coins, and then the coins you tell you what line it is. Is it a yang line or yin line? Is it with a focus line or not? So you get the first line, okay? And then uh, after that, you put it back again. And then you you for, then you get the second line, and you need to repeat the whole process here, total of six times, right? So if you actually get the six time, then you uh, you get all the lines. Then you get the hexagram. So someone say, uh, how, why they use the total? I also don't know. Uh, but it, according to the old days, because they have certain divine marking here, they they discovered that there's the uh, nine boxes, and then there are certain divine uh, of the. Uh, uh, the palace here so the trigram so therefore they consider this is a turtle is a divine creatures and someone they live so long right so this is the old days but the old days they use real turtle shell and they need to wait until the turtle die before they can use it yeah they cannot kill the turtle yeah so okay so therefore this is the old ways of it using of course uh i didn't if you ask me do i use this right now no. right so just just for a uh just to show for you, you know, how does this, uh, how is it is come from, okay? Do you like it so far? Cool? Do you learn something new? Okay, all right. So this is uh, Yi Jing for you. And some of you here also, uh, uh, you say, just now you asked about how do you use this card, right? So the card is like this. Yeah, there's a card. So guess how many cards inside this deck here? 
of course there are 64 right so there are 64 cards so what you need to do is you need to ask a question right you ask a question already let's say you ask your you know in Yijing, you know um uh, what is my strategy of success for 2021 for example right let's say you ask this question then after you ask it then you just shuffle it and then you just take the card right the card will reveal the hexagram for you okay so the hexagram you just read it right so if a hexagram is good let's say uh one of the good hexagram okay okay let's say this is considered a good hexagram fire fire represent happiness clarity so let's say randomly you get this card is considered quite good right so it's happiness so and uh, and then let's say you actually uh you discover this and then you uh is you happy right but one rules here right if you want to actually do a proper yijing divination you want an accurate answer you cannot cheat the system yeah let's say you discover that you like this fire hexagram then you purposely put at the top and then you 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 fix uh you fix the shuffling and then actually you, you know this is the top right? you pretend you don't know and they'll take back the same card again oh fire yeah then you you're positively bluffing yourself they'll say oh i get a good card i must have a great year yeah that is pathetic yeah don't ever ever do that okay so it must be fully random right you don't cheat the system <laughs> I know some of you here right you know which card is good you purposely select it because you know the card you purposely put at the top yeah that one doesn't work right Yijing doesn't reward liars okay yeah remember that okay uh, now you know yes you, you you might think i'm joking right there are some people really do something like this you know yeah so therefore yeah it's important i know all of you here are not like that right yeah you all of you here are smart people you have integrity am i right of course i am right all of you here are honest you are dedicated and then you also strive to become better every single day crown up right so you are you're not you're not going to cheat the system yeah so just in case you you found someone do this remember to upload their face on facebook and then tag them say liar yeah okay ban them unfriend them okay now once you have this card here uh, uh some uh, uh this card here is like someone just now asked me how do you use right you get a card but the second part remember just now we also have a focus line right a down a, a line here then you have another set of cards there are six okay so just now let's say you got the fire hexagram yeah and then you don't know which line is the focus line right now then you actually uh use their six number one to number six and then you shuffle it and then you take the card okay you got this number five wow right number five remember just now number five is good so if you get number five which means that if you ask the question how does my boss see me and then you get number five means what your boss your boss respect you if you ask about how does your spouse see me you get number five that means that you know your your what your wife or your husband see you in the i would say uh better than they'll love you a lot yeah they respect you as a person i think it's good what if after married for 20 years you ask how does my husband or my wife see me and they will get number one then what happened All right so uh what happened yeah which means oh you did a really bad job yeah as a partner yeah, then you need to ask for strategy how do you improve it very easy okay so there are two steps one step you get a hexagram hexagram and then the second step here you want to get this uh uh the focus line then from these two piece of information you can read a lot a lot of things already yeah so that's why the first step here is can you accept the answer now All right so is is oh, is good if you're able to accept because that remember Yijing talking about what impermanence you are bad right now doesn't mean tomorrow you're bad agree right keep things keep changing yeah the first thing you must know where the problem is so this is is it easy it's very easy okay now uh, of course i if you ask me i cannot do like you know all of you here 64 cards i cannot do the divination for all of you here but i as usual in my Yijing webinar actually do uh i can help you to do a, a mass divination so all of you here can benefit do you want to do this so but in order to do that i cannot use the 64 hexagram because if i explain each of the 64 hexagram it might takes me like two to three days right it's a torture right so which means uh so therefore in order to benefit all of you here 
at least you got something uh, to take away from tonight. I'm going to do a, a, a mass divination for all of you here. Instead of using 64 cards here, yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually use eight cards. Remember just now we're talking about uh, the trigrams? How many trigrams are there? There are eight. You see, one, two, three, four. Okay, let me share the screen again. Okay, you see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I also can do divination by just using trigrams instead of hexagram because there's so many of you here, right? So it's not possible for me to use 64 right now. Yeah, but it still can give you a very, very accurate answer because in the old days, they only used two on you know. Right now, you got eight. Yeah, you should be... Uh, uh, happy yeah doing this so what i need you to do here is like this i prepared success virtual in 20 uh, it's not 2020 yeah, it's 2021 yeah i think they're, they're written out wrongly there so just imagine right now because i'm the one uh set the question these cards here will actually uh dictate yeah your success virtual in uh in 2021 so which means that if you adopt that virtual in your life you will see success or you create more opportunity. Would you like to learn a lot? And I'm going to reveal to you in this uh, webinar here today. Do you like this? <laughs> okay, all right. So are you ready? Are you, are you ready to do this? So uh, the step here is very simple, right? There are eight trigrams here. So you're going to pick one of these eight trigrams. So once you've... Uh, selected the cards type it in the chat box right now now i'm talking about virtual yeah virtual is about self-cultivation certain character within you yeah i think that's very important remember you talked about the cost right so you need to look at this nice okay someone say quick quick need to go to conference i'm sorry yeah so <laughs> which means that you can watch the replay yeah, I, I need to wait everyone uh, do this first, right? If you need to go to conference, your conference right now, you just uh, later on, you watch the replay. I think there's a replay, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, if it's not, tell your boss, you know, Yijing is more important. The conference can wait. Yeah, because this is something got to do with your 2021, you know, the whole year, you know? Yeah, so better do that. Or maybe ask your boss to join this webinar as well. Maybe he will thank you for that. Okay, nice. All of you here already selected your card. Good. So let me reveal to you uh, the, the answer first, right? Okay. So these are the trigram. Remember just now the trigram here? So uh, this, uh, if you selected card A just now, if you sele selected card A, so then you got this Kun trigram, right? If you selected card B, then you get this Kung trigram. I don't worry, I'm going to explain to you. I know you don't know what does it mean if you're a beginner. So now, again, this trigram could represent so many different things, right? It could represent a person. It could represent business. It could represent uh, love. It could represent health. But now, since I'm asking about success virtue in 2021, so I'm not, I'm only talking about virtue right? or your character that you need to cultivate. Everyone clear on this? So it doesn't mean anything else. It just represents virtual. Because why is it represent virtual? Because I say so. Because just now I asked a question based on that. Everyone okay so far? Nice? Okay, if you're clear, then let's let's start with the first one. The first one here is a uh, Kun Gua, right? A Kun Gua here. So a Kun Gua uh, is something to do with compassion. Yeah, Kun Gua, the first one. Yeah, the Kun Gua is something to do with compassion, which means that, you know, uh, if you got number A, the virtual you need to cultivate in 2021. Yeah, let me write down here. 2021 is what? Compassion. Since you get card A, it already implied that right now your lack of compassion. What you need to do? Accept it. Yeah, because this, the, <laughs> okay, yeah, that only you can change, right? Yeah, so if you already have compassion, you won't select that card A just now. How many of you get selected card A? Yeah, that is your success virtue in 2021. 
You have more compassion on your colleague. Right. If you don't have compassion, right, someone make mistake, then we say, oh, how come you're so stupid, right? So there always lack of compassion. Yeah, you need to under understand that all of us here are born differently, we are wired differently, right? So it's about accepting other people's weaknesses as well. Yeah, compassion to your spouse. Right? So and again, the more important thing here is do you have compassion on yourself or not? Yeah, that is the most important, right? Because if it's not, you're gonna you're gonna critique yourself a lot right everything you also blame yourself that that is the part you need to look into okay so don't you think yijing no is actually resonate what what you are facing right now right you need more self-compassion yeah eliminate self-criticism nice okay that one is kun if you selected cut a so and if you selected cut uh uh cut B just now. This one is something to do with Geng, uh, uh, Geng Gua. So Geng Gua talking about non-judgment. Uh, so you don't, you don't actually, uh, judge people. You don't judge life. So this one talking about, uh, non-judgmental. So do you judge your wife or not? Do you judge your wife or your, or your husband a lot? Yeah. If you, if you judge people a lot, you're not going to be happy, right? So this Geng Gua talking about you don't judge other people. You don't judge life. Yeah, see the life as it is. Yeah, so this is something that uh, that stopping you from becoming success in 2021. If you're able to do this, then yeah, this is because teaching one all of you here to become better, right? Therefore, I think there's some form of affinity why you're here today, and um, somehow you're destined to get this uh, answer for uh, for yourself. Okay, now the third one. The third one here is Khan. Yeah, is C here. How many of you here is Khan Gua? Yeah, Khan, you selected C. How many of you? I want to see who you are. Okay, all right. So if you selected a Khan Gua, the C, the card C just now, this one talking about you need to actually cultivate inner peace. Yeah, because in 2021, you're a bit emo. You know what is emo? emotional you could be emo emo king or you be emo queen uh in 2021 here so and um yeah you're right dramatic yeah even more dramatic than korean drama or bollywood movie yeah i just watched a bollywood movie it's just a snapshot you know the car the car flying and while the driver uh inside the car is still flying it able to deliver a rose to uh uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, that's how dramatic it is. I don't know how this ha can happen in real life, but in Bolly Bollywood movie, it seems like you can do all these activities that defy gravity. Okay, so very dramatic. Have you seen this, this uh, uh, movie before? You know, you drive a car while flying. The car can fly when, you know, I don't know how the car can fly and then overturn. And then the driver inside the car able to give the rose to his girlfriend and in slow motion some more with a nice background music. Tell me, is it drama? <laughs> yeah, so very dramatic, right? So next year is about cultivating inner peace. I would say like, you know, uh, you learn meditation, learn Qigong, you go for yoga, you know, or maybe tell yourself, calm down, calm down, right? Think delay. Yeah. In in Malay, we see but the nang. Okay. Lan Zing Dit in Cantonese. Okay. That is your <laughs> trigram. Yeah, is that. Yeah, Robin Lee said better than Inception. Yes, couldn't agree more. It's better than Inception. So it's like the drama of Inception or Matrix, you 10x them, is equivalent to Kangua. Okay, hopefully later on you ask your, your wife or husband to choose the card. Hopefully they don't got the C, okay? If you got the C, they don't have problem. You have problem because the one that in drama, they don't have problem one because it's the one that around them that gets suffered. Do you understand that? <laughs> now, if they don't get drama, you're fine. Yeah, because you're the one create trauma. The one that suffer is the people around you, right? Yeah, whether they can bear with you or not is another thing. Okay, all right, cool. So, and the next one here is uh, D is a Sun Gua. Okay, so Sun Gua here, if you selected card D, you got a Sun Gua. So Sun Gua in terms of virtue uh, is uh, about flexibility, right? So uh, flexibility in a way is talking about adaptable. So if you think about in an organization, 
Yeah, the the one that will survive in a high political charge organization is not the most intelligent person, but rather is the one that the most adaptable. Don't you agree? Yeah, they can survive. Yeah, that that is a stronger survival skill. If they're able to adaptable, they're able to change according to the organization. They are the survival, right? So if you selected a uh, cut D right now. The keyword for you for success, the virtue of success in 2021 is about flexibility or adaptability. Okay, that one is a uh, Sun Gua for you. Nice. How many have we gone through so far? Four trigrams, right? So another four to go. So, and the next one, uh, the next one here is Chen Gua, right? Chen Gua here. So Chen Gua is the, the keyword for you here is sense of urgency. Yeah, so which means that uh let me let me write down one word here. D N M hashtag. Yeah, this is your favorite hashtag for 2021. What is DNM means? DMN means for delay no more. Okay. This is the word. So which means that you need to cultivate the sense of urgency. Your success virtue here is you always feel that, you know, time is not enough. I must do it now. It's now or never. When would be now to start this? Right? So it's the time. It's, you ask when to start your business yesterday. Yeah, everything must be now. So you need to cultivate that sense of urgency. Yeah, to get what you want. If this year you procrastinate, you delay everything, you say, you know, can wait, relax, ball, bro, you know, thank God it's Friday, the kind of thing, then you'll be, you, you're going to having hard times in 2021 for you. Okay? So, what if you are Chen Gua, hashtag DNM in the chat box right now, if you are selected Chen Gua. Yeah, do it. I want you to internalize this. Otherwise, you just forgot after this uh, workshop is over. Hashtag DNM. Yeah, I want to see all the selected Chen Gua just now. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Okay. So many of you here. Okay, cool. So the next one. Okay, just mean I saw K. Okay. okay, nice, nice. Yeah, that's for you. Then the next one here is uh Li Gua. Right, so if you got a uh, Li Gua here, Li Gua, Li Gua is something got to do with faith, you know. So and uh, uh, what what do I mean that is uh, is in in this in two thousand twenty one, you need to remain uh, optimistic and also have faith that everything will will be all right in the end, yeah. Because Li Gua here talking about optimism, so which means that even though things doesn't work out very well uh, for you right now. It uh you need to actually uh have some faith that in the end things will be all right. Yeah, this is talking about optimism. Yeah, you have you have faith in life. Yeah, you feel you you need to know that you know the universe are supporting you. It might not always give uh thing that you need all the time, but they will support you. Right. So this is about the faith. Right. So if you have this, so you need to hold on a little bit longer. Right. Things will be all right soon. Yeah, things might not look at the same. Yeah, this is about this uh, Li Kua here. If we get the Li Kua. Okay, the next one. The next one I'm talking about here is the, uh, if it's selected card G right now, is a Tui Gua. Tui Gua is a, is a talking star, you know, it's a star of speaking or, or uh, communicating. So when you actually got this uh, Tui Gua here in 2021, what you need to do here is not to learn about uh, talking, you're not to learn about communicating, but you must learn connecting with people, right? There's a difference between talking to people and connecting with people. Connecting When you're talking, you're using your head, right? When you're connecting with people, you're using your heart to do the talking, right? If you do a public, uh, if you actually need to speak on stage, right? Some people, they're relying on the script or they're relying on heavily on their PowerPoint slide. Have you, have you actually uh, uh, get into a presentation where the presenter they read exactly what every single word presented in the PowerPoint slide. Now you're going to fall asleep, right? Yeah. So therefore, because they are talking to you from the head, yeah, they are just uh, they are just communicating with you, right? But some people 
they doesn't require any script at all. Yeah, they just go on stage and then they just then they just do it. Yeah, they just say something out. Why? Uh, it's not because their memory is so good. It's not about that. It's because they speak from their heart. You think about this, right? When you go for dinner or lunch outing with your friends, do you actually read a script beforehand what to talk to your friends? Do you do that? <laughs> no, right? Yeah, when you meet your friend, then yeah, you just speak what is inside your heart. Don't you think so? Do you need to memorize script? Tell me. Yeah, go for outing with your friend, dinner or, or whatever it is. You don't need to mem you memorize nothing. Yeah, because you are connecting. Yeah, so if you are if you are distracted kaji, your thing you want the ability you want to develop here is about connecting with people. Yeah, this is for you. Okay, finally, and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, uh, the H yeah the card H here is uh, is Chen Gua. If you got a Chen Gua, uh, this one is you need to make yourself obsolete. Yeah, obsolete in terms of your skill. Yeah, uh, whatever you know, let's say you are the best at what you do right now. Maybe you're the best chef, you're the best marketeer, whatever it is. It tells you that don't be complacent, right? Make all make yourself obsolete. See yourself as a beginner again, and then learn new things. Uh, so this is a Chen Gua. How many of you here are Chen Gua? Yeah, if you're Chen Gua, you selected Chen Gua just now. Yeah, you make yourself obsolete every single day. Yeah, so if you think that you're already the best, you're not there yet, right? Here talking about install a new operating system, yeah, just like a, a phone, right? So you need to do that. Yeah, your, your current operating system already expired in a way. It's no longer relevant. If you don't do anything about it, yeah, then you might not able to keep with the pace in 2021 for you. Okay, all right, cool. So do you see this, Yusu? Yeah, do you like this or not? Uh, so I hope that this simple divination here able to give you some, uh, uh, some I would say guidance for you, a divine guidance for to pave the way uh, to uh, actually create better results, opportunity or happiness yeah, in 2021 for you. Okay, all right, nice. I think this, uh, okay, cool. I see so many yes, I say okay, nice. So right now, that the 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 way I'm using just now is using a uh, three lines, right? So but when we practice Yi Jing, yeah, we uh we're gonna use uh the six lines, right? The actual one because there are so many people of you here. I'm gonna use eight cards instead of sixty four, right? Imagine you have sixty four cards. I ask you to select sixty four cards. I'm gonna explain one of them. You know, I don't know how long I need to do so <laughs> to finish all the sixty four cards. Okay, so some of you ask for repeat the meaning of certain cards. Uh, don't worry, they will have a replay later on. You just watch the replay. Okay, all right. Now, let's do some uh, some live divination here. So I'm using six uh, six line here. How many, uh, if you have a question right now, you want me to help you to answer, you type in the chat box right now. Yeah, if you have any question, any question you have. in your life or you don't know uh, which is the best way for you to do so, you know, so it's a time for you to actually uh, type in the in the chat box right now. Yeah, your question. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick uh, one of your question here. Okay. Someone asked, should I migrate to Australia? That way is your decision. Okay. Yeah, because uh, it's, it's it goes, you need to tell me uh, what is the reason, right? Is it in terms of job prospect is better? Then it'd be more clear, okay? Okay, Mary G say, can I get a job in 2021? Of course you can, right? No problem. Anyone can get a job. The problem is whether you can accept the salary that you wanted or not, okay? So that one is not a, uh, it's not a very clear question here, but Mary, in Yi Jing are uh, more forgiving, right? So therefore, I will plot a, a, a a so called a card for you. Let me uh, broadcast. Uh, Mary, you see, Mary asked a question can I get a job in 2021, right? It is, she's not specific, right? So if I, if you say that you actually can get a job, right? Yes, yeah, so you can get any job as, un because if you're willing to lower down your expectation of salary, you're going to get a job. 
Yeah, so if Chiman, you need to fine tune the question to write specific. But in Yijing, yeah, are more forgiving on that aspect. So I'm going to pick a card for you, Mary. Okay, so now, how do I do that? This is the deck of cards of 64 hexagram. All I need to do is just to shuffle it. Then I pick a card for you. Okay, I got Marrying Maiden. Okay, you see a Marrying Maiden here? Okay, all right. So if you cannot see it, let me just uh, draw it out for you. So this card here is uh, in Cantonese. Uh, they're called Lui Zap Kui Mui. Yeah, so it's like this. Heaven on top. Uh, sorry, Thunder on top. And then uh, Tui Gua at the bottom. Yeah, this is Marrying Maiden. Marrying Maiden Hexagram. So Mary. It's called Marrying Maiden. Oh, oh, your name also here. Mary. Okay, nice. Marrying Maiden. So what is missing here? It's the focus line, right? So let's look at the focus line. Remember, there are six cards here. So I need to shuffle it to get the focus line. Okay, shuffle. Okay. What line? Six line. You see a six line here? So therefore, uh, the focus line will be at the six line. Okay, at the sixth line. You guys see it's number six, right? So that's it. Are you guys okay so far? Right, so this is a sixth line. So now, let's interpret the chart here. So here indicates that, you know, if you get a marrying maiden, uh, Mary, if marrying maiden is a very special hexagram because it's talking about you are returning back to the origin or your previous company. So Mary, I'm afraid you might need to uh, go back. <laughs> if you want to get a job in 2021, you will go back to your ex company or where you move from. Okay, so that is what the chart say. Because your question, can I get a job, right? Li Jing say yes. Then it say that uh, you need to actually uh, go back to the old company. Because six line is the highest line represent ego. So maybe you need to let down a little bit of your ego and then talk back to your old, old company, they might be able to give you a job there. Okay, Mary G. Tan Tan. Yeah, this is the uh, reading for you for uh, the Yi Jing to answer your question. Yeah, Mary made the man returning there yeah, because the word Lui Zap Kui Mui, the Kui in Chinese represent uh, return. Yeah, that is what is it says here. Okay, Mary. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the answer for you. This is what suggestion. Okay, all right. So John Lee. So John Lee say, how do I improve? Uh, let me clear the whiteboard first. All right. Okay. So how do I improve my career, business and wealth in 2021? Okay. And this is again, is quite a generic question. All right. So you want to improve your career is very easy, right? Yeah. Get a job <laughs> and then you perform. That's it. All right. So, but let's say, uh, let's see what Shimon says uh, to your uh, answer, your question here. So now again, this is the card again. I is the seal the same step. I'm going to shuffle it, and then I'm going to pick a card. Okay, this is poison hexagram. Okay, this uh is called sun uh sun feng gu right. On top is a mountain, and then bottom is uh is a wind. So it's like this. This is a poison hexagram. Yeah, the Ku represent a, a bowl full of worms, yeah, poisonous worms. So now what is missing here again? What we need to do? We need to actually select a cards. So uh, the focus line, right? So I shuffle again and then see the focus line. Okay, I got number six again. Okay, number six. Number six is the highest of, it's the same, like just now highest. So it's the highest mean also something to do with ego related. Okay, and also something might be on your control due to economy because the sixth line is is the line that beyond your control. Yeah, it could be economy or maybe you cannot uh, actually uh, revert back. Maybe you are, let's say someone that in the CEO level and then right now they got retrenched and then they keep, you know, they keep insisting they want to find a CEO, a great kind of job and it's fine hard, right? So I say if you're in the sixth line means that you need to work on your ego and the poison hexagram Poison hexagram represent a uh, uh, neg uh, your self belief, right? Or your self belief is negative right now, right? So you need to actually as re examine 
your self belief because this is the one that actually blocking you from seeing the truth. Yeah, maybe your self belief you feel that you know you're not capable, right, or you're not good enough. A lot of things, right? So the, the the moment you see this poison, this is the one you should actually reflect into, yeah, into in into it because poison represents something is uh not working inside. Yeah, it's poison. So this one's something got to do with thinking. And then one thing here, since your focus line is on number six, this is kengua. So I would say that the first thing, if you're talking kengua, represent cash. Yeah, represent money. So you say that uh, the first thing you need to actually learn right now is not to spend first, but is to save. Your cash flow must be strong, right? So that's what the chart tell you to do right now. Okay, so focus on saving and then reconsolidating your 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 ability to manage finance because the chart says that your ability to manage finance is a bit weak. Yeah, a bit weak would be uh, uh I mean a more lenient, but actually it says it's very weak. You know, so uh this is a part you need to focusing on. Yeah, so uh so do this. Okay, all right. So let's say let's say let's say John say okay about in this in this hexagram here, what can I do? Yeah, what type of uh if I want to business, what direction I should go to? Because this gua here. This gua here is Gen Gua. Gen Gua is a very young guy. So basically it means that you need to look at what is the young people doing right now, their lifestyle. You need to actually learn technology or whatever or a system or platform that related to young people. Right. So TikTok could be one of it. Right. You might need to look in this part because TikTok also uh, is all the all the young people is there, right? So maybe you look into that direction might help you. Right, John Lee, because I don't know, are you referring to career, business, or wealth? Because your question is a bit general, but here talking about look into that direction. What young people needs right now? The youngest one, I'm talking about teenager. Okay. All right. So are you guys uh, enjoying this so far? Okay, cool. So now, yeah, let's answer this question here. Alvin Lu. Yeah, Alvin Lu uh, asked a question, uh, could I get a girlfriend in 2021? Right, so it's very easy one. You're very smart like Alvin Lu, right? So why you ask this question? Because there are a lot of girls inside this chat room right now. Right, so anyone bother to answer him, Alvin Lu? Yeah, if you say yes, then Alvin Lu will contact you, you know? Yeah, don't better not, right? You don't know who is Alvin Lu, right? So never mind. Yeah, let's see Jing decide for you. Okay, Alvin? So let me help you on this. Can I get a girlfriend in 2021? So uh, I shuffle this. Let's say I get a card for you. Oh, it's called what? Accomplished hexagram. Do you see accomplished here? Nice. So Alvin Lu? The answer for you, Yi Jing, say yes. Happy or not? Yeah, accomplished hexagram is like this. Uh, let me just uh, draw it out for you. Accomplished. So since you're asking about girlfriend, uh, the chart says that is a resounding yes for you. So Alvin Lu is confirmed you're going to get one. Okay, so let's get some detail here. There are cards, right? So let's see. Yeah, let's see her position right now. Okay, number five. Number five says that it's a good line to be in. So which means that right now you're ready. Yeah, the only thing you need to do is don't do anything. Yeah, that is what you just say. Be yourself. Be comfort with your own skin because accomplished hexagram, all the lines really perfect. Any line you change, you become non, you become bad line already. So Alvin Lu, remain who you are right now. You no need to change a thing. Okay, no need to do something extra. If you are fat right now, remain fat. Okay. So the the girl that comes to you is the chubby chaser, by the way, right? So it's fine. Just an example for you. Okay, Alvin. So accomplish has a means you don't need to change anything. <laughs> it's a good news for you, Alvin. 
right? So which means that you're you're in the you're in the right position already. So do you like this or not? Yeah, do you do you like this type of uh, uh Yijing divination? <laughs> it's it's very uh fun, right, to do this? Yeah, so yes, okay, you're welcome, John Lee, you're welcome, Alvin. Okay, nice, Alvin. Yeah, so no need to change something. Yeah, it's not I say, you know, the chart says to you, you know. So I hope you actually enjoy this. So, and do you guys, uh, I just prepared something for uh, for my uh, uh, my followers, my friends on social media. If you want to know uh, the six line divination, uh, the success code for 2000, uh, for December this month here, uh, by month analysis, if you want to know it, uh, let me just share with you uh, uh, this thing here, some of you already joined it. So if you don't haven't joined yet, I just uh, published the success guide for December 2021. Yeah, if you want to know your success guide for 2021, then uh, you can join this Telegram and scan this uh, hex, uh, QR code here. Okay, you can type the link uh, and then you can join this Telegram where I'm going to review the answer in 3rd of December. So two days from now. So in the Telegram, I already shared with you, there are three cards you need to pick. So each of the card will contain a hexagram. So each hexagram will review the answer. What is your success guide for the month of December 2020? And I'm doing this uh, mon on monthly basis for free, right? So if you look back on my this Telegram channel already posted on October, the month of October, and then the month of November, and then uh, on December, I haven't revealed yet, it will be on December, uh, the 3rd of December. So if you're interested to know this every month, you don't want to miss the update, yeah, join this uh, Telegram channel. You can take a screenshot first. After the webinar later on, you can uh, you can join. Okay, this is okay. Some will say waiting for the answer. Okay, nice. Yeah, already I already know the hexagram. Yeah, I just haven't reviewed it yet. Okay, so do this, and then maybe you tell your family to join as well because you can benefit them as well. Okay, nice. Yeah. So and okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you all of you here. So now the next one here. Uh, I want to actually, there's something extra I want to share with you is uh, 2021. Uh, you want to know the uh, Oracle hexagram for 2021? Yeah, I mean the overview. So let me share with you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. So this is the one. Yeah, I'm going to share with you right now. Uh, this is the uh, Oracle uh, achievement chart for 2021. And the one I want you to pay attention to is this one. Do you see a quadrant hexagram here? Right, quadrant hexagram is a good hexagram. Yeah, overall, which means that there's still plenty of opportunities. Yeah, this this not your chart, right? This one is overview of the year. Yeah, this is uh, something extra for you. So this is a 2021 Oracle achievement chart. Okay, it, it, this one is plot based on the third of February uh, on the peak hour uh, down to the minute. Yeah, so you get this chart here and. Uh, this quadrant hexagram overall is a good hexagram, which means that there will be uh, plenty of uh, uh, opportunity, opportunities available, but quadrant will be something slow, right? It's not a get quick rich scheme, yeah, because it's like a quadrant boiling something. So in order to benefit from this, you need patience. Yeah, you need a lot of uh, perseverance and patience, but great things is coming. But one thing I want to look into further here is this line here. See this line here? It's different color, right? So this one talking about the focus line. Which focus line is this? Line number four. Right? So when you see a quadrant hexagram with line number four, if you look at the text of Yi Jing, it's talking about uh, someone that are not equipped with the right skill to undertake bad opportunities. Yeah, if you look at the, if some of you have the Yi Jing notes, you look at quadrant hexagram, at the fourth line, you're talking about there's a great opportunities, but that person not able to get it because lack of capability or capacity. Yeah, so therefore, what does it say here? How do you actually benefit from this quadrant hexagram? Self-education. Because why is that person lack of capacity in the first place? Because they don't have the right skill and knowledge, right? So therefore, it means that the one that have the right skill and knowledge in 2021 will be the winner. So now make a plan. No matter what you want to learn, it could be marketing course, it could be investment course. You must make your plan to learn something new in 2021. Yeah, this is what the uh, uh, the Yijing hexagram telling you. 
Yeah, so you, you, you might ask me, right, what to learn? Yeah, learn something that can add value to your company right now or to your own skill or your own business. Yeah, this is the one that you want to actually a, uh, look into. Okay, so do you like this kind of thing here? So um, uh, this is an annual uh, hexagram assessment. Uh, so make sure after this class here today, maybe now here, right, find something to register and learn because it's like this, right? If you keep talking about things, uh, it's like a dream, right? So when you plan on something, it gets exciting. But only when you schedule it, it becomes real. Right? Schedule something. Yeah, block your calendar, register for something first. Then you're going to make it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is how you want to plan for 2021 for you. Yeah, this is extra. This is a bonus for you, 2021. Okay. All right. So, of course, yeah, Yijing is very, very interesting. And in Yijing, they are different. They are different uh, so-called uh, system in Yijing. Uh, some of these are called Plum Blossom. And then there are one system that I, will, I like a lot in Yijing is about uh, Wen, uh, this one, Wen Wang Gua. Yeah, this is uh, Man Wang Gua. Yeah, this one here is a one system of Yijing where they do a Yijing divination in a unique way. So what, uh, what, what does it mean uh, in a unique way? Because uh, let me show you this chart. Remember there's a six line, right? So in a Wen Wang Gua technique of Yijing uh, divination, each of the line that you actually attach with an uh, animal sign. Yeah, this makes the reading become easy because some of you learn parts, right? You're familiar with the shop animal sign. And also each line also got their description. It could be wealth, it could be resource, it could be anything. Right? So let's say, let's say later on you get a, this gua. This is Asker is you, right? And then okay resource which means that this year you might have a lot of resources coming to you and then the outcome here the outcome here is also resource right a lot of resource but you discover that dog and dragon is a clash let's say right so you you although you have it but you cannot get everything you need to share your resource because it's a clash element it could be something like this okay so this is uh if you like parts you like when one gua analysis and then later on uh, or you can add the deities because each line also got deities one. You know, you learned human before, right? There's a deities. So you can add on it, see there's any divine intervention you can tap into or not. Uh, so this system here is uh, why I like this system when one go up because it's very systematic. And then even a beginner can follow this uh, to actually to interpret the gua. Yeah, that's how uh, that's why I like the when one gua technique of uh, analysis. So if you actually interested to learn this, Dato Joey is going to teach uh, this class uh, in, is what we call, they're going to put all this content here in the Yi Gua Divina Divination course. It's an online course, it's a live stream by Dato Joey. So, and uh, if you're interested to learn, let me show you the date. Uh, the date is on 5th on to 6th of December, which means it's this weekend. And if you're interested to learn, the, the investment price for this is 1997 Okay, so and this class here will be taught by Tato Joey personally. I think that if you want to learn something, right, why not you learn from the best, right? Learn from the best, right? And then therefore, you will learn this personally from Tato Joey up and write comfort from your own home uh, to master this called Yi Gua Divination. So and um, if let's say you don't like, you, you want to learn, you want to see how people uh, analyze the Yi Jing, yeah, so there'll be another program here called Oracle Council, where there'll be four weekly sessions. There are four times starting from uh, 21st December. There'll be four sessions in total where we're going to do a lot of case study of the chart. You know, we plot the aging and then in a group, we pick some question and then we answer them in live. Yeah, that's one way. If you don't want to learn, then this is you watch uh, how we do the divination, how the coach do it. Okay, so now so you have two choices here. Right, one choice here, you learn it from Dado Joey, it's called Yigua Divination. And then another one here is the Oracle Council. Of course, you can pick both of them. And then the cost will be 3,994. And, but today, right? So why not pay both, right? Uh, and here, we, we, you actually can get, uh, both programs here at one price. So you can get the Yigua Divination and Oracle Council for, uh, uh, one uh, price cost price here, which is one thousand nine hundred ninety seven only, right? So if you're interested on this, then uh, that this will be the link. 
joeyab.com uh, forward slash YG Divination. You click on it and there you go. You all set to go and I'm going to see you on this. Uh, Tato Joey, we're going to see you on this uh, weekend, the 5th to 6th of December. Okay. All right. So let's not end there, right? So you can actually get more. Let me show you. Yeah, if to, uh, these are the two things I'm, yeah, I'm talking about, the Yikwa Divination and Oracle Council, but uh, we would like to always add more value to students. If you sign up with us today here, enroll today, then you also will get this Yijing Mastery uh, bundle with it. Yeah, I know that this class is on 15, 12 to uh, 15 November. It's already passed, so you're going to watch the replay for this Yijing Mastery for four days. This is, uh, I conducted this, yeah, in November 12 to 15, it's a four days uh, uh, classes here. So you're going to get a replay for this. Yeah, day one, day two, day three, and day four. Yeah, one day uh, at that time, every day we start from like 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. You know, so these are the things you're going to get. Yeah, and you use last time, yeah, a lot of people to learn Yijing, they need to actually sign up for Yijing Mastery. But now you're going to get it for free as a bonus. Okay. All right, so now let me summarize this for you. Oracle Divination, Oracle Council, and Yijing Mastery replay. And the total price is 591. But today, if you're interested to join us, you can get everything listed above for just a fraction of price of 1997, right? Okay, so if you decided yeah, to master Yijing or you want to use this tool to improve your life, I would say there will be no better time than now yeah, to learn this from the master himself. Okay, all right, nice. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I saw a lot of you here commented you like the Yijing Mastery, it's good. Yeah, so you're going to get this as well, Yeah, the Yijing Mastery replay. Okay, cool. So, and, uh, so you can click on the link here and also on the, your right-hand side, there is a box there uh, that you can actually uh, click on that part uh to sign up now okay all right so do you enjoy the uh, uh the webinar so far do you like what you learn a lot okay i hope you enjoy uh, uh or you so or, or you found this new interest of Yijing, and i hope one day or uh, one way or another get able to serve you uh and i uh, hope that you don't let this stop continue to learn this uh, art of Yijing and remember, yeah, pay it forward. Yeah, whatever you learn that you discuss and you found out that is useful, help others. Yeah, and give some light to others, right? I think it wouldn't harm you in any way, right? Do that. And the more you help others, your knowledge also improve a lot. Okay, all right. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, webinar here and thank all of you here for tuning in. So I'm going to see you guys soon. Okay, till then, take care. You know, stay healthy. I will see you guys in our next webinar. Have a great day.